Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our fifth video in a series on how to create a simple basement in a in a Revit model, a Revit uh, residential home model. And uh, what we saw in the last video was the creation of the basement wall, but it really wasn't quite in the place that we wanted to be. So let's go ahead and look at that section we created and take a look at what we're looking at here. Uh, we want to make sure that resolution is on uh, medium or fine in this one so we can see the straw, some of the components that we're looking at. What we don't want in a situation like this is when we go from a ground element, a structural element, a foundation element. We don't want that supporting any of the, the siding or the sheathing associated with the wall that's above it. So we kind of need to keep that in consideration and uh, this is how we, uh, how we correct that. We can't really select very easily. Uh, these components from the first floor, we can't really see these thin lines, but this is another way to do it that's uh, relatively easy to do. So if we go to the Modify tab, go to the Align button, what we want to do is we want to align this line right here, which is the interface between our structure and the sheathing and the finish on the outside with this line down here. This is going to be our static element, this is going to be the element that we're going to move. So remember the tab key? We did this in previous videos and class demonstrations. If we click on tab, that allows us to select that line. That's going to be our static reference. This is going to be our moving reference. And let's lock that into place. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Tab key, click on that line, click on that line. So now the, the core face exterior lines or planes are lined up here, which is correct. And what we want to do ultimately is, uh, you know, when we're building the model, when we're building our house, actually is extend these down over the stem wall just a little bit to keep rain from coming into that interface there. So that looks good there. Let's go back to our place, uh, basement uh, plan. Let's do another section. Go to the view tab. Go to section. We'll cut a section right down the middle or the long end of the wall, not necessarily down the window, uh, the middle. And let's take a look at that section and do the very same thing. Now the resolution is kind of poor here, we can't really see what we're looking at, but let's go ahead and go from coarse to medium and see if we can pick that up. And one eighth of an inch scale, let's go ahead and go up to a one to one scale so we can see a little bit finer what we're doing. So go to the modify tab, align, tab, tab, click on that, plane, click on this plane, lock it into place. Let's go to the other side, it's much further away because it's a much longer wall. Tab, that's our static reference, that's our moving reference. Lock that into place. And that should be good. Let's go back to our basement plan and take a look at that. So what we've done, let's take our uh, scale and move that back down again. Here's our basement wall in the bold uh, dark lines. And then our first floor wall is up here. So you can see that the basement wall extends out a little bit above the first floor wall. And if you need to look at that one more time, if we go back to one of our section views down here in our project browser, you can see that it does actually stick out quite a bit. And when we put it on our floor, that will get corrected just a little bit. So join me for the next film.